Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Heike, this is Lola and you're watching Stone Cold Coffee Crafts. Today I have yet again a Diamond Art Club unboxing. I purchased two paintings in February and um, yeah, they are my first two paintings of 2020, period. Um, well, no, that's not true. Fencels sent me some stuff, but I didn't buy those. So <laughs> this is, these are the first two I bought in 2020. Let's put it that way. And this one here actually is the one that broke my, so far, kind of for me, successful no buy. So I didn't purchase anything all of January. There were a lot of new releases I liked, um, but I didn't buy any of those. This one here, yeah, there was no, no waiting for that one. Make a Wish and Take a Bite by Mandy Manzano. It's a 42 by 106 centimeter square with AB diamonds. And it is freaking gorgeous. It is so, so gorgeous. Um, yet again, I saw this image when she released it on Instagram and I was pretty much instantly, oh please, this is going to be a diamond painting by Diamond Art Club. I wasn't sure if they were going to do it because they announced they are now only releasing paintings in standard sizes. And this one clearly doesn't fit a standard size. You can't just cut some of it off and still call it a beautiful painting because it would be missing so much. But I think they reconsidered this or I don't know, is, is this a standard size in, in the US? Um, I would be kind of surprised. So, let's have a look. It's a bit heavy because it's a square painting. Oh, the colors. They are already breaking my little heart in a good way. So, we have as always the sticker and see what I mean there are so many details down here and you can't just cut off all this up here so there was no way to turn this into a pretty standard sized painting so I'm glad they didn't do that we have 48 colors in this painting and we have two ABs so we have white and yellow in this one or it might be green a very yellowy green we will see in a moment. We have our square painting toolkit. And once again, because I don't want to open this, here's my little prop. This is what you will get in a square painting toolkit from Diamond Art Club. It's a translucent boat. It's a few baggies, like five or so, unless they increase the number, I don't know. Um, a pair of tweezers. Um, the pen with a single placer, two heart-shaped waxes, a squishy, and a multi-placer. Uh, this is still a three-placer. You might get, yep, you get a six-placer in this kit. I don't know if you can see that. That's a six-placer. So I'll probably have to update my prop. All right, so that's, let's have a first quick glance on the drills. And they look absolutely delicious. No killing the computer cat. I still need it. She is asking herself whatever for. Or <laughs> well, she's actually seeing herself. I'm probably thinking there's an intruder. So you get this little booklet. Don't throw it out. There is a little something for you in there you might want to use with your next purchase. going to roll back the canvas. As always, you don't actually need to do that. You can just let it lie flat for 20, 30 minutes and it will be flat and you can start working on it. But for video purposes, I am going to roll it back. Because I don't actually want to pause for half an hour. <laughs> so going to roll it back the other way as well. The cat has migrated to the windowsill. Maybe the neighbor cat is in the garden. All right. 
And let's have a look at her. Oh, these long ones are always a bit hard. So let's start up here and give you a good view of the whole thing. This is looking so fantastic. I'm very tempted to throw all my plans for March out of the window to do this one. Should have removed the lamp up here, it's in the way. <laughs> and then here down in her skirt you have the, the scene with the glass coffin and you have the dwarves here, I think. I think that's what they are supposed to be, be, silhouettes of the dwarves. Let's look at, at the painting again. Yep, that's the dwarves. Three are over here, four are here, and the prince is here. So that is supposed to be the prince. Um, that That is of course getting lost a little bit, but pff, this painting probably would be, would have to be room size <laughs> to show all these details so i'm not i'm not salty about that i can imagine what that is and from afar you will probably be able to make it out too i know some of the some of the canvases sometimes look very cryptic i love her crown yeah you too she has a bit of a bald spot here. <laughs> we had to visit the, the vet a couple of weeks ago and I asked them to remove all the the knots she had. Um, so a bit of a bald spot here. <laughs> she also had the bald spot here because they did a, an ultrasound. She was so shocked about that. <laughs> yeah, I know, it was cold and wet. I fully understand going to give you another view of this this crown crown this this is like a flower crown and then with them um, some jewels i guess it's it's very beautiful so let's have a look at the drills We have our standard poop ton of black. Yep, I know. This is annoying, Her Majesty. Jesus, this is so much black. How much black is this? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve bags of black. Holy moly. Twelve. <laughs> Our first bag of AB, and you can actually see it. Yay! So, this is the Aurora Borealis coating. It's an iridescent coating on top of the drills that gives you some extra, extra sparkle, some extra effect. And I just finished my first square AB painting in January and the effect of these square drills is phenomenal. It's very different from the round ones, so both are pretty. And we have two bags of this. Wow. Two bags of AB drills in white. We have a single bag of, ye of yellow. And two blues that are not connected to any strand. And now we have
And I know this takes a while, but I, I like to give you a very good close-up of the drills because of the issue they used to have and because I keep saying the new kids don't have this issue and I hope you can see that. So what you might see in these drills are holes on top, maybe a bit of um, resin hanging off to the side, but it's usually very thin. It's not, not like the, the thick knobs um, the bad drills sometimes have. So it shouldn't give you any trouble. Sometimes two drills are connected. You can just break them by pretty much pressing your drill pen on them hard. Um, so that's, that's all, all very easy to solve stuff. Love this green and this one too. So I guess our second AB color is just just a tiny accent. I haven't seen it. Have you? Uh, Ah, no, 165, of course, is not an AB. So this has one AB drill. Sorry, my mistake. 165 is not AB. Uh, anything below 150 is an AB drill. All right, so I think, did I show you the last few colors? Sorry. Confusion. <laughs> so 165 is this, this yellow with, yeah, it's, it's, it's a very bright, soft yellow, maybe a tinge of green, but not an AB. Sorry, my mistake. <laughs> and we have very little of that, so I am guessing it's only, only up there in the crown. I can see the symbol there, so I guess that's, that's the only place it is. Okay, let's give this a close-up look to show you the symbols as always super clear i've never had an issue with um reading the symbols on a diamond art club kit so they are usually pretty clear and square kits actually show pretty well how the finished painting will look because the background colors are usually very close to the drill colors. So it's not like with a round painting that can be very deceiving. Um, this one actually looks good. It also looks like nothing looks off as far as um, the colors they chose. So that's awesome too. There's a lot of, of AB highlights here in her hair and and the dress. This is going to look very, very good. All right, um, but I don't want to keep you much longer now because I've already rambled on. So this is as always very sticky. No problems with that usually. And I'm going to give you one more close up of her face and upper body. And yeah, this is, I, this is, I, oh, it's, it's gorgeous, it's gorgeous. I usually don't get asthma <laughs> with Diamond Art Club, but this one is taking my breath away. <sighs> I really need to think if I want to do something different than planned in March. Stay tuned. <laughs> so if you like this unboxing, you know what to do. Everything you need to get in contact with me is down in, this, in the description box. All the links are down in the description box. Um, I am not an affiliate with Diamond Art Club, so if you click on any of those links, um, I don't get anything except for my referral link. It is clearly marked. If you click on that, you get, uh, I think it's 15% off. I get a coupon. So if you don't want to use it, it's fine with me. It's just there. So if you want to, feel free. And please know that I get something out of it. Um, all right, guys. That is it. Oh, cat. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> that is it. 
<laughs> I hope you have a wonderful day and um, I hope I will see you back here very soon. Bye guys. <laughs>